Mike Lang here with Lang Productions. Today we've got another tutorial for you. We're going to talk about using OBS Studio to stream SRT video from a remote guest to remote host or anybody you want to bring into your show into vMix uh, using the SRT protocol. Um, SRT is pretty new. It's broadcast quality. It's used by a lot of broadcasters around the world, but uh, there's a whole bunch of people out there who just don't know about it, and it's way better quality than uh, than Zoom, than anything else out there. The one caveat is it's not that low latency. It's about, about one second latency is about the best you're going to get with SRT. But it turns out that's more than enough and low enough to interact with two people, as long as they're a little bit aware of the delay. So let's get right to it. I'm going to show you how to get OBS streaming SRT into vMix. So I'm going to go over to my vMix window here. First thing you're going to want to do is add a new input. And what we want is the SRT input. Let me move this over so you can see. We want to go to SRT. And what we want to do is listen is do an SRT listener, which means the SRT connection is going to be initiated from the remote OBS system to vMix. You want to specify a port. Now this is where the networking, uh, the networking comes into play. You do have to configure your firewall to allow this port through to your vMix machine. I assume if you're, knowing v if you're using vMix, you already know how to do this, so I'm not going to cover this in the tutorial. But this does require some port forwarding, so head over to your router, pick a port, and forward it to your vMix machine. So we're going to use port 5000 right now to make things easy. Um, the only other setting you need by default is latency. Uh, this setting is important and it's required and it's in milliseconds. The lowest possible latency you can choose is 120 milliseconds or 125 depending on your decoder. Um, what you want to do is set this to approximately four times the ping to your remote guest. Um, I'm in the middle of the country here in Madison, Wisconsin and east coast to west coast I don't usually see ping times higher than 80. So what I do is I kind of uh, split the difference and I set this to usually 200 or 250, which works for most guests. So I'm going to leave it here at the default of 200. I'm going to pick a number, important or a input number five, and click OK. Now vMix is listening for this connection uh, from OBS. Now let's head over to OBS and configure that. I've got OBS Studio running here on my machine. This is OBS version 26. Don't try to do this with OBS 25 because uh, it, or don't try to do this with OBS 24 or below because SRT is not supported. You really want to be using version 25 or higher for this to work. So if you don't have a version 25 or higher, go update or just uh, keep doing what you're doing. But we're going to show you SRT. So I've got a test scene here, some bars and tone with a good old bouncing puck and a clock so we can see the latency. And all you need to do is go into your settings, choose stream. We want to choose a custom service. And here is the magic. Under server, you type in SR lowercase, uppercase won't work, SRT colon forward slash forward slash. And we're going to use the um, the external IP address of your vMix machine. Um, that'll be, it can be a host name. So you've, if you have dynamic DNS set up, you can use that. I'm going to use um, the IP address, local IP address of my machine, because this OBS system is on my local network, just for demo purposes. But in a real world situation, you would use the external IP address of your machine, of your vMix machine. So this is my local IP, and then you want to do colon and the port number, which we set up earlier, which was 5,000. Then hit apply, and all you have to do now is click start streaming. OBS will connect, and when you see this green box down here, that means it's connected. Now let's go over to our vMix machine. And you can see right over here, this is our SRT coming in from OBS.
And I'm looking at it right now, and it's about one second latency, even the, over the local network. And it's uh, full, full quality, looking really good. Um, let's go pull up the general screen here. And you can see I'm getting 1920 by 1080 H.264 at 30p. Now if I wanted to, in my OBS screen, I'll show you the full resolution. There it is. Um, I could change sources. I could go over to my other webcam here, which is black because vMix is using it, but you can see it's pretty smooth and great looking quality video. And that's all you got to do to set up OBS with uh, vMix. You'll get a great, in, uh, great host stream, broadcast quality, and it works over most networks. You're really going to want your guests to have at least 10 to 15 megabits of upload bandwidth and a wired connection. It works over Wi-Fi, but I wouldn't recommend it. So this is how you do OBS with vMix. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you want me to, if you like these videos, you want to see more, click the subscribe button below and uh, we'll see you next time.